China Sundays for Timbata at 8 a.m. The Online Divine Worship Service at 10 a.m. And Wednesdays at 7 p.m. for the Midweek Service via Facebook Live and YouTube. Like and follow our San Mayor United Methodist Church and SUMC TV Facebook pages and subscribe to our San Mayor UMC YouTube channel and click the bell button to be updated on our videos. Good news! The Ang Salita Daily Devotions and Readings is now available via YouTube. Listen, like, share, and subscribe to HTPBS, youtube.com, at Ang Salita underscore SUMC. Magandang araw po! The San Mayor Kababaihan encourages everyone to continue decluttering. Give up treasures you may love but no longer need and can be appreciated by others or an object you may have outgrown. Pwede pa po humabol. Ito po ay para sa scholarship committee at ang ating mga lay organizations na tutulong para isulong ito. Ating alalahanin, give something up for the Lord and support our scholars and church activities. Thank you for supporting our scholars. Lady Jane Tandayu, Virgie Santaana, Eunice Manabat, Marcia Lu Garcia, Aimee Cruz, Pastor Marites Cruz, Bianca Cruz, Luz Peña Florida, Chari Aquino, Marvin and Gladys Bloom Victoriano. Do you need a venue for your birthday, wedding or anniversary? Or space for a photo shoot, rehearsals, seminar or workshop? The San Mayor Upper Hall is now open for reservations at an introductory price of 4,000 pesos for the first four hours and 500 pesos for succeeding hours. Please contact Ninoy Busalpa for questions and reservations. San Mayor members get an additional discount. Kaya, ano pa hinihintay nyo? Make that special event in your life a memorable one at the San Mayor Upper Hall. You can still help complete the things we need for the third floor. More foldable lifetime chairs and tables, table linen, LED projector, wireless handheld microphones, and for the kitchen, an induction stove and oven toaster. You may also want to give seed money instead of the items mentioned. Remember, maliit o malaki, every little bit counts for the ongoing renovation and beautification of our multipurpose building's upper hall. May gusto ba kayo ipag-pray or ipagbigay puri kay Lord? Send nyo lang ang mga prayer requests at praise reports kay Ate Diane, Ate Jay, or kay Kuya Franz para masama sa prayer gatherings after Salmo ng Buhay at Commune Fridays o kaya ay isama ni Pastor sa ating Divine Worship Service kapag Sundays. Keep on praying! God is listening! I come to you, Lord, for protection. Don't let me be ashamed. Do as you have promised and rescue me. Listen to my prayer and hurry to save me. Be my mighty rock and the fortress where I am safe. This is Psalms 31 verses 1 to 3. Let us pray. Thank you, Father God, for you are our fortress, our mighty rock, and we continually ask you to shelter us under your wings. May you open our eyes, our hearts, to your word so that we may be guided and directed. And may your prayers and praises bring glory to your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Isang mapagpalang gabi po sa ating lahat and welcome to St. Mayor's Midweek Service tonight. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and SUMC TV. We are happy to have you here. And let us continue sharing and inviting people to hear the word of God and the praises of His people.
mercy remains. Should I stumble again? I'm caught in your grace. Everlasting, your light will shine when all hell's face. Never ending, your glory grows beyond.
send bulletins. Birthdays. It's going to be a festive May 13, a day before Mother's Day, as Francisco Matriarch Aurora Francisco turns 90. We pray for more blessings, happiness, beauty, and good health for Ate Rory. Happy birthday, beautiful ladies of May. Flower altar donors. The flowers on the altar today are to celebrate the birthday of Merlinda Atinet Tandayu. Celebrate your memories, blessings, and thanksgiving by becoming a flower altar donor. Message us via Facebook or contact Ate J, Ate Jenny, or Ate Dayan and schedule your flowers for the Lord now. This month of May, we celebrate our heritage and honor our mothers with the hashtag I love, I care, I honor. If there is one ministry that San Mayor UMC is most passionate about, it's education. We believe in the right of every individual to education. In connection with this, the Scholarship Committee is launching soon Tulong Aral ng San Mayor sa Kabataan, or TASK, to provide educational assistance from daily food allowance, transportation, school supplies, and school uniforms for underprivileged children. The estimated expense per year for one pupil or student is 25,000 pesos. We pray that you will find it in your heart to support our future scholars whom we pray will become empowered and productive members of our society. You can send your pledges to San Mayor's China Bank account, San Mayor United Methodist Church account number 113-133-4181 or through our GCash number 0977-114-7242 under San Mayor Treasurer Raquel Herrera's name. A special offering will also be scheduled before the school year begins. Thank you, Outreach, Witness, and Multimedia teams for reaching out to our neighbors and distributing breakfast and the word of the Lord to our kapitbahays, tricycle drivers, at mga nagtatrabaho at nagdadaan sa palibot ng ating community. Thank you to Deaconess Diane and Ate Tess Fortunato for preparing songs and fun activities for our Agahan kids who attend regularly while their parents line up outside. If you want to be an Agahan volunteer, do sign up with San Mayor Outreach Chair Dr. Jaime, Doc Meng Mendoza, or witnesses at the Jenny Makaraig. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa mga donors na nagbigay para sa programang ito. Agnes Alex, Dito and Estrella Chin, Angie and Jessie Mansala, Rogelio Vicente, Nerisa and Roberto David, Oscar Madokdok Jr., Geneva Takasawa, Gurdy and Anthony Laigo, Tess Fortunato, Nov Angeles Manahan, Dr. Clarito and Mildred Perez, John and Mary Joy Valdez, Caloocan City High School Batch 67 alumni, and our ever-faithful Good Samaritans. God bless your good hearts! The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Give from the heart and help support San Mayor's different programs and activities. You can send your tithes, offerings, pledges, and thanksgiving through the following ways. Bring them to church. Through bank deposit via San Mayor's China Bank account, account number 113-133-4181, under the name San Mayor United Methodist Church, and through GCash. Number is 0977-1147242 under San Mayor Treasurer Raquel Herrera's name. Save the dates and please pray for this district and PAC events. May 13, 2023, District Conference to be held at Knox UMC. May 24 to 26, 2023, the Philippines Annual Conference at the Central UMC. Please pray for our activities and conferences. Dahil lang mahal na ng presyo ng mga bilihin, kinakailangan na natin mag-pool ng resources at tumulong sa ating mga pagsasaluhan sa ating luncheon fellowship. A basket will be placed on top of the dining table for you to drop any amount in it. Ang maiipon ay idadagdag sa pagkain natin the following Sundays. Pwede rin po kayo magbaon and we encourage you to bring enough to share. Pwede rin po kayo mag-contribute kasabay na inyong mga offering. Paki-indicate lang po sa envelope na para ito sa Sunday Lunch Fellowship. Maraming maraming salamat po. 
The outreach ministry team was added again visiting in full force our sick brethren and saying hello to members at Pigalauran or Dulo as we know it. It was also an opportunity for our San Mayor team to introduce themselves to others. Visited on the last week of April were Dr. Jojo Kiambao, Gurley Laigo, Noel Rezosa, Kuya Rolando Batik and Kuya Dito, Esther Villanueva, Ning Manyo. The visitation team led by Pastor Tess Cruz and Outreach Chair Dr. Jaime Mendoza also visited Renato Busalpa at the Lung Center of the Philippines where he is currently confined. Thank you Outreach Team for your love and concern for our sick and in need of comfort members and friends. One of the positive things that resulted from the pandemic is the Ministry of San Mayor's Multimedia Team that continues to innovate and bring the Word of the Lord through different ways. So, it's but natural to sometimes be met with shouts of Quiet! Action! Cut! When a recording is going on. Kaya wag po kayo magulat or magtampo kung bigla kayong masabihan ng Shhh! O kaya'y mapaglakihan ng mata. Trabaho lang po talaga. Walang personalan. Para kay Lord po ito, promise. Kaya samahan nyo kaming silipi ng ibang mga behind the scene photos ng ating mga shooting. Baka gusto nyo rin pong mag-volunteer bilang host, manunulat, taga-ilaw, taga-edit, sabihan lang po si Kuya Ninoy, Multimedia Chair. Happy Sunday po! Sali na rin kayo sa maraming ministries ng ating simbahan. Tunay na napakasarap maglingkod para kay Lord. Ang Ibanghelyo natin sa gabing ito ay mula sa Ibanghelyo ni Juan, Kabanatang Labing Apat. Talatang labing lima hanggang dalawang put isa mula ito sa Ang Salita ng Diyos, Tagalog Contemporary Bible. Ipinangako ni Jesus ang banal na Espiritu. Kung mahal niyo ako, susundin niyo ang aking mga utos at hihilingin ko sa Ama na bigyan niya kayo ng isang tagatulong na sa sa inyo magpakailanman. Siya ang banal na espiritu na tagapagturo ng katotohanan. Hindi siya matatanggap ng mga taong makamundo dahil hindi siya nakikita o nakikilala ng mga ito. Pero kilala niyo siya dahil kasama niyo siya at sa sa inyo magpakailanman. Hindi ko kayo iiwan ng walang kasama. Babalik ako sa inyo. Kaunting panahon na lang at hindi na ako makikita ng mga tao sa mundo. Pero makikita niyo ko at dahil buhay ako, mabubuhay din kayo. Sa araw na yon, malalaman ninyo na ako nga ay nasa aking ama at kayo ay nasa akin at ako ay nasa inyo. Ang sino mang tumatanggap at sumusunod sa mga utos ko ang siyang nagmamahal sa akin. At ang nagmamahal sa akin ay mamahalin din ng aking ama. Mamahalin ko siya, rin siya at ipakikilala ko ang aking sarili sa kanya. Ito ang salita ng Diyos para sa mga anak ng Diyos. Isang field reporter ang nag a ambush interview sa isang busy street sa Metro Manila. Ito yung reporter. May nilapitan siyang isang babae. Sabi niya, Ate, pwede ka bang interviewin? Ang ina-ambush niya para interviewin ay hindi makatras sapagkat kilala niya ang field reporter. Medyo sikat yung field reporter na to. At nakatutok na ang camera ng cameraman sa tao. Sabi ni Ate, Pwede naman po, si reporter. Ate, mahal mo ba ang Diyos? Nagulat si ate, sapagkat hindi niya inaasahan, gano'n na magiging tanong sa kanya. Sabi ni ate, opo, mahal ko ang Diyos. Si reporter, anong katunayan na mahal mo nga ang Diyos? Si ate, natigilan, nagisip, at nakaisip din ang sagot. Sabi ni ate, Sinabi ko na sa Diyos na mahal ko siya. Biglang nagpahabol pa ng sagot si ate. Palagi niya akong nananalangin sa kanya. Kung tayo ang nakalagay sa kinatatayuan ni ate, 
buong katapatan ba ninyong masasagot ang katanungang, mahal niyo ba ang Diyos? May maibibigay ba kayong magandang sagot sa tanong na, ano ang katunayan na mahal mo nga ang Diyos? Sa binasa natin ngayon mula sa John chapter 14, verses 51 to 21, hindi tinanong ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad kung mahal siya ng mga ito. Sa halip ay direktang sinabi niya, kung mahal niyo ako, susundin niyo ang aking mga utos. Ang katunayan ng pagmamahal ng isang alagad kay Jesus ay ang pagsunod niya sa mga utos ni Jesus. Ano ba ang mga utos ni Jesus? Ang mga utos ni Jesus ay matatagpuan natin sa nauna pa ang mga kabanata ng Ebanghelyo ni John. At ito'y makikita natin sa John 13. Ang utos na tinawag na bagong utos ay binigay niya sa huling hapunan niya sa kanyang mga alagad bago siya ipinako sa krus. Nakapalubi ito sa kanyang huling habilin sa kanila at mula sa talatang 34 hanggang 35, ito ang nakasaad. Kaya isang bagong utos ang ibinibigay ko sa inyo. Magmahalan kayo. Kung paano ko kayo minahal, ganun din dapat ang pagmamahal ninyo sa isa't isa. Kung nagmamahalan kayo, malalaman ng lahat ng tao na mga tagasunod ko kayo. Alam ni Jesus na ang bagong utos niya ay mahirap sundin kaya sinaban, sinabi niya sa kabanatang labing apat at yung binasa natin ngayong gabi, talatang labing anim hanggang labing pito. At hihilingin ko sa Ama na bigyan niya kayo ng isang tagatulong na sa sa inyo magpakailanman. Sino ang tagatulong na tinutukoy ni Jesus? At sa talatang labing pito, siya ang banal na espiritu na tagapagturo ng katotohanan. Hindi siya matanggap ng mga taong makamundo dahil hindi siya nakikita o nakikilala ng mga ito. Pero kilala niyo siya dahil kasama niyo siya at sa sa inyo magpakailanman. Batay sa kanyang mga sinabi, ang tagatulong ay tagapagturo din. Ang itinuturo, ituturo ng tagatulong ay katotohanan lamang. Invisible ang tagatulong kaya hindi dapat mag-expect ang lahat ng tao na makita siya. Ang tagatulong ay para sa lahat, subalit hindi siya tatanggapin ng lahat ng tao. At ang hindi tumanggap sa tagatulong ay makamundo. Sa mga tumanggap naman sa tagatulong, makakaasa silang forever na ang pagsasama nila ng tagatulong. Mahirap ipaliwanag ang kalikasan o ang nature ng tagatulong o helper na tinutukoy ni Jesus. May idea tayo na ang tinutukoy ni Jesus ay ang banal na espiritu, ang Holy Spirit. Pamilyar tayo sa Holy Spirit na anyo ng isang puting kalapati o tongue of fire. Inuugnay natin ang Holy Spirit sa pagbagsak ng tao kapag nalayhan siya. Bilip tayo sa taong nakakapag-speaking in tongues sapagkat paniwala tayo na subakan niya ang banal na Spirit, ang Holy Spirit. Kahinaan natin ay maniwala lamang tayo sa nakikita natin. Yun ang weakness natin. Eh. Doon tayo vulnerable. Naniniwala lang tayo sa kung anong nakikita natin. Kung walang pagpapakita sa atin, hindi tayo basta-basta maniniwala. Kapag nag-isip tayo, hindi ba makamundong kaisipan ito? Kaya naman pala hindi natin maunawaan dahil makamundo ang pag-iisip natin. Wala tuloy ang katotohanan sa atin. Ang tagatulong ay ibinigay ni Jesus upang makatulong sa mananampalatayang magmahal sa kapwa. Ito'y pinagkaloob niya upang ituro ang katotohanan sa kanyang mga alagad. 
ang tagatulong ay ibinigay ni Jesus upang makasama ang mga alagad niya. Hindi ni nais ni Jesus na iwanan silang mga ulila. The Easter message is that life rather than death has the final word. And this is important for our faith. In the Gospel of John, faith is a relationship with a living being. For there to be an authentic faith in Jesus, people must be able to relate to the living Jesus, a Jesus who is not absent but present. Otherwise, faith is reduced to the memory of a Jesus who died long ago. Why would anyone believe that authentic life comes from a Jesus who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, a Jesus whom they cannot see? Ang kasagutan ay, walang maniniwala kung wala sa kanya ang banal na espiritu. For it is the Holy Spirit who makes the presence of the living Jesus and his Father known. Coming to faith is analogous to falling in love. Would you believe yung pananampalataya ay parang naintab ka na rin sa ating Panginoong Diyos? One cannot fall in love in the abstract. Yung hindi natin nakikita, alam natin yon, di ba? Love comes through an encounter with another person. At ganito din sa ating pananampalataya. Kapag ang pananampalata ay isang relasyon sa isang buhay na Kristo, sa buhay na Diyos na nagpadala sa Kanya, kaya ang pananampalataya natin ay magaganap lamang sa pamamagitan ng ating pakikipag-unaya, sa pamamagitan ng ating enkwentro sa kanila. And the Spirit is the one who makes the presence of Jesus and the living God known to us. Mga kapatid, alam ko na Dapaka hirap unawain ng Ebanghelyo ni John sa gabing ito. Subalit isa lang ang importante dito kung paano nag-umpisa ang teksto sa pagmamahal o sa pag-ibig. Doon din nagtapos ang teksto sa pag-ibig at pagmamahal. To God be the glory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we've been blessed by God in the Word of God, let us give back our thanksgiving and offering. As Deuteronomy 16 verse 17 says, Each of you must bring a gift in proportion to the way the Lord your God has blessed you. We may send our tithes, pledges, and thanksgiving through our San Mayor United Methodist Church, China Bank account with account number 113-133-4181 and through our GCash account under the name of our church treasurer, Ms. Raquel Herrera, 0977-114-7242. Let us pray over the offerings. Thank you, dear Lord, for the blessings you have given to us. You have provided us with more than we could ever have imagined. You have surrounded us with people who always look out for us. You have given us family and friends who bless us every day with kind words and actions. You have given us the Holy Spirit, our friend, our companion, our helper. The Holy Spirit lifts up in ways that keep our eyes focused on you and makes our spirit soar. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Let us close in prayer. You, O Lord, have given us a new command that we should love one another. You know, O Lord, how difficult it, are, it is for us to love people who are unlovable, people who are disagreeable, people who are always in conflict with us. But your command is a command. And we realize, O oh Lord, that we cannot do it on our own. And we need your Holy Spirit to rest in our hearts so that we would learn how to love the unlovable. Say, so, Lord, we are humbled by the fact that you know us and you have loved us even from the womb. You loved us and you called us from before the moment of our first breath. As a mother, father loves her or his child before she or he ever sees it and then embraces the child gently from the moment of its birth. So you love your people. Help us, dear God, to love one another in this way, to love each other as you love us, to love not only the people who love us, but to love the people, to love our enemies, the people who have hurt us, enjoy their bodies and soul, the people, O oh Lord, whom we have already called unlovable. You love us, O oh God, from the time of our naming. You loved, cared, and protected us in our growing and held us as we took our first steps. You walked beside us as we explore the world with eager hands and eyes. But with us, be with us, O oh Lord, as we continue our journey in life and faith. Protect our comings and goings as soon as we wake up to our rising in the morning. Cover us with the light of your presence within the world we live in. Help us overcome evil and temptations by the power of your Holy Spirit. Give us the strength and the power to become the persons which you desire. We pray for all whom we know that are seeking guidance in their lives, for all who struggle with doubts about their faith. We commend to you all who do not yet believe but are searching, that when while they still walk in darkness, that you would make your light shine upon them. Embrace with your presence those who are unwhole, where there is sickness and disease. We pray for healing, and we name some of them right now, dear Lord, in our hearts and in our thoughts. Where there is hunger and despair, bring hope. We name our brothers and sisters, O Lord, in areas of the world who have been ravaged by, by earthquakes, by wars. Help those who are unemployed and whose work is difficult, dangerous, or stressful. Grant, O oh Lord, strength of families, people in the bond of marriage. Give all children and young people a renewed respect for their parents and guide all parents in raising their children. Bless your church today that she may shine with your son's light in this world. Bring forth suitable people to study for public ministry and to serve in lay ministry. Be with our pastors and servants of the church in every congregation in this country. Help them, us, to speak your word in truth and power and care for the flocks entrusted to us. Be with the leaders of the United Methodist Church, our bishop, Bishop Rubinel, Australia, our DS, our DS, DS, uh, Roberto Parcasio. Guide, protect, and refresh them, and help them as they work together in your name. Creating us concern for people abroad where there's torture and oppression. We pray for the end of war in Ukraine and other places. Salvation and release our brothers and sisters in bondage. Conquer evil in all parts of the world through the prayer of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. That is how I accept God's blessings. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Yeah.
samahan ng bawat isa sa atin, sa ating paglalakbay, sa ating buhay, at ganun din sa ating journey of faith. Marami tayong challenges sa buhay. Alam natin na many of us are being tempted to fall by the wayside. Isama natin ang lahat na ating kakilala sa ating mga panalangin, even if these people do not request our prayers. Once more, we thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing also to our YouTube channel. Please continue to like and share our programs here in San Mayor upang higit na mas maraming tao ang makarinig ng salita ng Diyos. And as we keep on saying here in San Mayor, keep on praying because God is listening. See you Friday.